Hello, my name is Marcia Taylor, and I'm from the University of the Virgin Islands, as well as the St. Croix Seashell Society. And today I'm going to be talking about marine snail opercula, or perculums. The word opercula comes from a Latin word meaning little lid or cover, and that's exactly what the snail uses these for. I'll talk about the different types of opercula and show you some examples from the waters around the Virgin Islands. First, what are percula and what is their purpose? A per percula are attached to the foot of the snail and serves as a door to help keep enemies out. It also serves to keep the snail from drying out by closing the aperture of the snail or the hole. A percula can be made out of hard substance like calcium carbonate, similar to the material that its shell is made out of, or can be made out of a softer substance, like the material that your fingernails are made out of, similar to keratin. My first example is that of the queen conch, which is the official um, snail of the Virgin Islands. Conch are commonly eaten in the Virgin Islands and they're very tasty. Conch have the type of operculum made of the keratin like substance, similar to fingernails. Conch largely use their opercula to dig into the sand and move itself around. You can see the opercula here in this photograph. Here's an individual one that was taken after one died, and here's a bunch of them. Here's an opercula on this live conch. The other snail that we eat here in the Virgin Islands is commonly called the Wilk or Welk or West Indian top shell. They can often be found on rocks in the intertidal zone. These snails also have a keratin like operculum which is black in color as shown here. Many species of snails have a stony or hard operculum, such as the star shell shown here on the left and the turban, the two photographs shown on the right. You can find these opercula, these stony um, little um, ovals on many of the beaches around St. Croix, such as Sandy Point on St. Croix. The inside of the operculum has a spiral. The outside is more of a smooth dome. The turban here, it also has an operculum, and here it is in its natural state, and here it is with the operculum with the inside facing out. I found this in um, on the south shore of St. Croix, right next to an octopus den. It had been eaten. These stony opercula are really pretty, and they're often used in jewelry, as seen here. Some Virgin Islanders have told me that as young children, they used to take these little opercula and put them in vinegar. They called them vinegar walkers. They got this name because the way, uh, the, way the opercula moves when it's put into vinegar. When it's put into this weak acid, the calcium carbonate starts to dissolve and the little bubbles of carbon dioxide that are given off help it move around and make it look like it's walking. So now I hope you know a little bit more about opercula, what they are, some of the ones found around St. Croix. They can be of various sizes and shapes and even colors. I think they're fun.